Hello guys and welcome back to another video, today I'm going to show you how to install macOS 10 into VMware. Before we get started, please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Also all the links will be down in the description and if you don't know how to get VMware Workstation 12, well I got a video about that and the link will be down in the description and it's the full free and legal version. Before we get started now you want to download this zip I have linked in the description and get VMware. Okay, so what you need to do now is actually get the uh, zip that you just downloaded. Okay, and you, what you want to do is actually right click it and uh, you want to hit extract here. Uh, this is a shortcut, got it on other partition with things already extracted. I'm gonna pause the video and uh, be right back. Uh, once I re-extract it on the desktop. Okay, so once you're done, you're gonna get these two files. So now you can actually delete this zip. Okay, so what you're gonna do is actually get the first one that says Mac OS X Sierra and hit extract. Okay, and now you want to wait for this to extract. Okay, so it's done. You get this folder. Now you can delete the archive. And when you open it up, you'll get this vir uh, virtual disk file uh, made by Tech Reviews, which is a very good one. It's uh, hard drive file you don't have to install anything now what you need to do is extract this other one so we're gonna do the exact same thing and it's done you can delete this and now when this will open up you'll open the folder and you'll get the VM tool that you're gonna put in your desktop you're not gonna need this only in when you're finished and then extract the patch tool in the patch tool you're gonna actually get um, one more folder that you need to use right now after you installed it so open up new locker and now you're gonna right click when install and hit run as administrator I already did this so you can uninstall it like this it, what this is going to be doing uh, that I already have I'm gonna show you right now what it actually does so uh, let's wait for VMware to actually open up and now you're going to maximize this, hit create new virtual machine and I'll install operating system later, hit next. And now you'll see that Apple Mac OS has appeared before it wasn't there. So you hit cancel and now what we need to do is actually make sure that VMware is not running in the background and you want to open up run. So to do that, press Windows R and go uh, and type in percent program data percent without a space. Okay, so without a space like this in one word, and now put another percent. And when this opens up, actually, what you want to do is go into VMware, and in here, what you need to do is open up VMware Workstation and get config and get hit edit and now on the last line right there what you're going to do is actually type smc dot version equals zero so now what you're going to do is click file save and uh, we're going to be going on to downloads and we are going to hit save so when this is done I'm going to open up downloads in a new window and get this file, I'll actually drag it, okay, and now when you release the mouse, it's going to ask you to replace, so you can hit, hit on continue, so you must be an administrator to, to do this operation right now, and if you don't do this, it's not going to work, so 
Now if we unlock VMware, we are ready to install it. So open up VMware Workstation and uh, let me just remove this virtual machine from my library because it actually created it when I showed you that macOS has been unlocked right there. So hit create. I'll install operating system later. Hit next. Apple macOS X. And now make sure that that's 10.12. Hit next. Rename it. Hit next. And click store as a single file. Hit next. And hit finish. You don't have to customize the hardware because of the hardware at the hard drive because we're going to remove this. And uh, you're going to hit add hard drive. Hit next. Seda, hit next, existing, hit next, and now you're going to click on browse and choose the one that we extracted. Uh, I got it on other partition already copied, so if you want to get the one from that actual desktop, okay, hit open, and now what you need to do is actually hit finish. Hit OK, and now you're going to close VMware, go on uh, your file explorer, documents, virtual machines, open this folder and delete this. So now what you're going to do is actually go into VMware workstation, and you're going to maximize this and click on the machine, hit edit, and now you're going to, I'm going to give it a little more RAM. Uh, a little more CPU cores and let this default so when you did set it this up onto everything okay you're gonna hit okay and now you're gonna hit play so it's gonna show you the peripherals so hit okay and now Let's just wait. So you're gonna see here VMware. And now it's gonna show you the Apple Mac logo. And then you just wanna wait a little bit and it's gonna show a loading bar. And wait for this to complete. So this may take a little while on the first boot. So I'm just going to pause the video and be right back. Because after the first half, when it gets into the second half, it actually takes a lot longer to load and it's going to be way more slower since I'm actually recording. Okay, so it's almost done, it's gonna load, and it's actually turning late, so I'm gonna end the video right here, I'm gonna explain you what you gotta do next. So just set up the Mac as you would do normally when you buy it, like adding accounts, and then just go into the file and boot that ISO for VM tools. But this is it, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, please don't forget to share this video, and if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on How to IT.